Hello everyone, this is Dan Wells coming in again. Uh, as you can see, I'm all dressed up as a cop. I get my cameo in the movie today, but that's going to be awesome. Also, uh, my eyes are terrifying dark pits for, for, because the lighting in this room is terrible. Anyway, I'm here with my friend, Green Man. Um, well, you're not actually, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not visible. No. The, the whole point in my wearing this sort of thing is means you, I'm not you, here. You're completely not yeah. here. I am yeah. here with most, but not the head, of my friend Todd Jones. Todd, tell yeah. us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm frequently in movies. I've done lots of things, <laughs> except I'm never seen. That, you know, that, well, that's quite a useful <laughs> thing. And I think very likely in this one, I'm not going to be seen either. Oh, at all. In uh, this at all. How about, you know, my... Uh, role here is to help realize the movement of your creature mm -hmm. uh, and frequently when I'm standing in the cold in something green and lycory and, uh, and uh, covered in blood I blame him yes I apologize for yeah. everything I've done um, so uh, Todd is uh, what, what is your actual do you have a title here can, in this can production? I reveal yes <laughs> well you I, said you weren't going to appear yeah, so yeah, yeah, anyway yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is what it, it looks like. Does that look better in now? Real life. Now it everyone's turned off. You very see, kind of like a pirate. See all those buttons going. Oh, no, yeah, everyone's no, no, like, no, 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 don't show us. Uh, okay, so this is Todd Jones. Uh, you are a creature designer. You are a puppeteer. Yeah. You uh, are. Do you have? Do you have an official title? Uh, my official title on this is creature movement consultant. Oh, okay. Uh, which is the same sort of thing as I did on John Carter of Mars mm -hmm. and some of the Harry Potter movies. Uh, where I go in and yeah, I mean the, the title doesn't quite indicate all that I do yeah frequently I'm wiggling something <laughs> <laughs> I mean the easier way to describe it actually is that I do something like that in frame uh, maybe it could be 16 feet tall or it mm -hmm. could be microscopic it could be computer generated it could be motion capture it could be a puppet yeah anything like that but the, the principal thing that I do is help bring some life to a prop, uh, a character that helps you tell the story. Yeah, and uh, so far, you know, in the, in the limited scenes that I have uh, seen, you know, Todd has been off stage with a bucket of blood in one hand and a bucket of black goop in the other and slimes things up. He's helped us with lungs and he's helped us with uh, some really cool creature claws and yeah. things that we can't show you, unfortunately. Sadly, sadly, you'll have to see the film for that. Yeah, so but I can promise you they will be. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you've been working closely with Toby, Froud. With Toby Froud, yes. I'm, I've worked with Toby very closely, uh, as some of your listeners and watchers might know. He was the baby in the film Labyrinth thirty years ago. Uh, then and has I, done a handful of things since. Things, yeah, I puppeteered him in that movie, <laughs> 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 and uh, then have been uh, you know a great friend mm -hmm. to him ever since. I taught him to walk on stilts and uh, juggle fire. None of which he's using now. He's got a much more sensible profession where he's sculpting for Lycra. He's got credits on Narnia and the Box Trolls. Mm -hmm. um, and he has developed this creature, his creature concept based on what you have written, that is at once extraordinary, but recognizable in terms of, oh, yeah, that would work. <laughs> yeah, that's, I understand yeah, yeah. where this might have come from. It isn't something so fantastical that people are going to go, I'm not sure about that. They're going to go, ah. Yeah, it's uh, got this wonderful sense of age to it yeah. you know it's, it's not just a monster it's an old man monster and f for me the, the reason I was so attracted to this project uh, knowing Billy O'Brien and Robbie Ryan you know, for years they've been doing various things this in particular caught my interest because it's not the expected outcome it's not the path most easily followed here I feel a real sympathy towards Mm -hmm. the monster that you created yeah. and in the movie the way it's depicted it's one where you understand the logic of why it's doing what it's doing yeah and the play between the two between John and Mr. Crowley 
so is one which gets them closer and closer into this sort of end game on a chessboard where one of them is going to have a, su a successful outcome, is going to survive, mm -hmm. and the other one simply isn't. Yeah. It's very high stakes that they play. And I feel that Crowley, this creature that inhabits Crowley, is there for legitimate human reasons, that in that sort of fairy tale sense, the immortal has found human love. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that he wants to be there is to try and keep a hold of that. Yeah. So how has, if at all, you know, how, how is that perspective on, on the movie and on the monster and on the story uh, changed the way or affected the way that you've been designing and, and moving the various little bits of monster? It is distinctly an aged creature. Mm -hmm. And Christopher Lloyd plays it beautifully as this old man that bits are just not working anymore mm -hmm. and he simply has to get somebody else's bits in order to stay in this uh, reality. Yeah. So the, the movement of the creature has to reflect strength certainly but also the, the age of some one and something that has been around an awfully long time. So that and a, a consciousness that sort of sees beyond uh, is aware of this reality, wants to stay in this reality, but has seen many other things over the course of its history. Yeah, I, uh, when I first arrived, had a conversation very briefly with, with Christopher Lloyd about the monster, and you know, the concept that the body it's in right now is old, but you know, the thing itself is, is so much older, you know, mm. hundreds of thousands of years yeah. older. So we sort of imagine what it might have seen, what it might have been through, and the physicality of it is, you know, it's a metaphysical piece, so there's distinctly this other reality. Some of the laws of physics just don't have to be, you know, followed, mm -hmm. and, and quite obviously, as the audience sees this, they'll go, oh, but it, one couldn't fit, fit into another necessarily, it couldn't necessarily do that, but we have maintained a logic throughout that gives this a reality of coming from a place, passing through to whatever next. Yeah. But what it might have seen, this monster, over the course of its time here on our planet with human society, mm -hmm. and that it wants to stay in this small town and stay with the woman it loves, is a real, it gives me a real sense of sympathy for it. Yeah, I think people it's are... It's not simply a slasher. <laughs> exactly. People are going to uh, really, really love Crowley. Yeah. You know, and then and feel bad when things bad things happen to him, even though he's a horrible well, the, killing One of the, the things that I think is really crucial, crucial, and Billy has brought this out, you know, with great dexterity, is that it, it's not simply winning. Mm -hmm. The things aren't quite going right. You know, the frustration that the monster feels when having managed to get another bit, it then has to sort of dispose of the body of the last bit, you know, mm -hmm. the, everything else that it's got. It's, it's you know, farce and tragedy are very close. Yeah. And we play that line quite carefully. But there are moments we go, oh, <laughs> didn't quite manage that one, did you? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. I, uh, I pulled him away from much more important work. Um, yeah, tomorrow we do this. Yeah, tomorrow we actually, we've got this cool, it's awesome. Anyway. Um, we can't say. We can't show you any of the stuff. You'll have to wait for the actual movie. But uh, it all looks great. Uh, Todd is doing an, an amazing job of bringing this monster to life. And uh, thank you very much for joining. Oh, now he's gone no, again. Except. Dang it. It's not Todd. You didn't see me here. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.